Number 8. 1977 as proof link consent. Graded as PR70 deep cameo by PCGS. PR70 is high's achievable grade for a proof coin and indicates that it is absolutely perfect coin with immaculate preservation and striking level and outstanding eye appeal. PCGS reports overall 62 proof cents with deep cameo designation in this high-end grade. This specimen was sold for $1,440. Number 7. This is 1944 D. Washington quarter in Mint State 67. According to NGC, the 1944 D quarter dollar is among the more appealing issues in the Silver Washington series. Typical of Denver Mint coins from this period, most examples are well struck from fresh or moderately worn dyes, displaying excellent luster. NGC certified 487 specimens in this grade with only 6 numerically finer. It was sold for $1,680 on October 23, 2023. Number 6. Here is 1951 proof Franklin half dollar. Graded as PR65 cameo by PCGS. The Philadelphia Mint struck a modest mintage of 57,500 proof Franklin half dollars for collectors in 1951. Unfortunately, most of the coins have shallow mirrors and examples with ultra cameo contrast are elusive. Also, the mint cellophane packaging was not suitable for long-term storage and many survivors show excessive hairlines in the fields. This spectacular superb gem fetched a sum of $2,160 on October 23, 2023. Number 5. This is 1920D Buffalo Nickel in MS64 condition. According to NGC, the annual mintage of nickels at Denver during the years 1917-20 was fairly consistent, though most of the 1920D nickels would sit idle in vaults for the next several years. A nasty recession began in the latter months of 1920, eliminating the need for further coining of nickels for the Midwest region until 1924. This issue is not truly rare in mint state, but the quality of most pieces is disappointing. Poor strikes from worn and cracked dyes are the norm, and this has greatly limited the number of gems certified. This MS-64 specimen ended up selling for $2,880. Number 4. 1976s Jefferson Nickel struck on a scent planchet. Graded as PR68 Red Ultra Cameo by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, this piece is remarkably sharp in the centers considering the undersized planchet, and the strike is well centered with at least portions of all peripheral legends readable. The coin is stunning in its preservation. Starkly contrast, frosty devices complement liquid-like fields a mid-carbon free pumpkin orange color. It was sold for $4,080. Number 3. This is 1974 S. Eisenhower dollar in PR70 deep cameo condition. A magnificent, technically perfect example of this popular clad issue, this coin is fully struck, with richly frosted design elements that contrast profoundly with the deeply mirrored fields. Overall eye appeal is terrific. It was sold for $6,900. Number 2. This is 1975 Lincoln sent in MS-68 condition. According to PCGS anything grading higher than MS-67 condition is considered rare. Grading service reports only 4 specimens, including this scent, in MS-68 condition with none finer. The surfaces are flawless, as expected, and display rich fire orange color. Two specks of carbon are noted, one on each side. It was sold for $9,000. Number 1. 1976s Bicentennial Quarter in MS69 condition. Even under magnification, the exquisite preservation of this modern silver clad piece is highly impressive. The subtlest hints of champagne patina are seen over the obverse, while the reverse is essentially untoned. Though the net mintage for the 1976s silver clad business strike is speculative, its rarity in MS69 is undeniable. PCGS certified six specimens in this graded with none finer. This one was sold for $19,200. Thanks for watching this video. Keep following us on YouTube, and don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons before you move on with another video. Have a nice day.